let's learn a little bit about creating a voice thread. Now, as you can see, I'm here on the voice thread main page. Um, up here, when you first log on to the page, there should be a little button here that says either log in or register. If you haven't registered, watch the first video so that you can find out how to sign up for a free voice thread educator account, which provides you with some options that you don't have on just a regular um, voice thread account. I'm already logged in here. Um, so why don't I go ahead and show you a little bit about the VoiceThread dashboard. Now if you want you can jump right into creating a VoiceThread from this button right here. Um, but I'm going to go into my voice which shows you um, some of the different options. So let me just sign in here. Alright now in the my voice section this will house all of your VoiceThreads that you've already created as, long as, some, as well as some helpful videos, um, some helpful VoiceThreads from the actual site. Um, all these will help you in setting up a voice thread so you can watch them. They're just short little tutorials on different parts of it. Um, if I click on any one of these, these are actual voice threads that um, that I've done with my class, um, which you can see on my classroom blog, Mr. Avery's classroom blog, um, which you can find the link to on this site. Now let's create our own. So we're going to go over here to create. The first thing it's going to ask you to do is upload. You can either upload pictures from your computer. You can upload pictures from the internet if you have the URL um, from, a, from a webcam. I'm going to upload them from my computer right now. And I'm only going to pick a couple just to quickly show you how to use this. So I'm going to use a couple from, uh, from my different websites. So as you can see, it pretty quickly uploaded these to it. Um, so right now I have three different slides to work with. So the next step is going to be to comment. Now you can comment in a couple different ways. Um, right here you'll see that you have the comment button. You can comment, you can actually uh, make a phone call in, believe it or not, to comment. You can uh, use a webcam to make a comment. You can just record voice or you can just simply type a comment in. I highly recommend that you come in and you play around with each of those. Um, but just for now, uh, why don't we just go with type just because I'm already recording. So to type a comment in, you simply click on the type button. And then what you can do is just go ahead and type your comment in. So as I type my comment in, I haven't actually saved it yet, but the other thing that you're going to notice here is you'll actually notice these different colors. Um, so you can actually draw right on this uh, with the comment. So before I click save, what I can do is I'm just going to draw a little arrow right here. And as I save this and it plays back, so let's go ahead and play it. One thing you'll notice is it actually draws that right on there. As, long, as well as showing uh, the comment that I've already put on there. Um, you can have a whole bunch of students record different comments on these. So for example, you could put, you could put a picture of, let's say, um, a map of the United States. And you could have students share different things that they've learned about the United States. Um, there's lots of great ideas that you can uh, use these for. I've seen it used uh, to introduce a school. I've seen it used to uh, collaborate with other classes. Um, we did one last year. Um, one of our blogging buddies, Mrs. Yola, celebrated her birthday. Um, and Mrs. Morris, a teacher in Australia, um, created a voice thread so that other educators could come on and wish her a happy birthday. So there's lots of great uses to this. Um, and then, of course, at the end, as you're finished, you'll notice that you can share this. You can share it by embedding. So you can simply uh, either write a quick post or copy the code and put it onto your site. Um, you can send in an email, invite your friends, or just copy the link and share it. Um, so I hope this was helpful. Again, it's great to just get in there and play around with it a little bit. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask, and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.